वेलकम बैक वेलकम टू दिस क्विक सेक्शन ऑन फाइल्स इन दिस सेक्शन वील ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू लिस्ट द फाइल्स इन अ डायरेक्टरी हाउ टू सर्च फॉर अ फाइल्स इन अ डायरेक्टरी एंड ऑल्सो वी विल लुक एट हाउ टू रीड ऑल द टेक्स्ट फ्रॉम अ फाइल एंड ऑल्सो हाउ टू राइट टू अ फाइल in this step let's start with the most basic thing we would want to take a directory and list all the content of that specific directory let's get started i would start with creating a new project so let's create a new java project as usual and we would call this files when you click finish a new java project would be created and you have a new source directory in here as well what i'll do is i'll create a new directory so in the files i'll create control n and i will say new folder and i'll call this resources what we'll do is we'll put some of the text files in there later for now let's focus on our source i'll start in with creating a new class i'll call this directory scan runner and let's put a main also in here cool now what i would want to do is when i run this project the dot maps to this so whenever we say dot that's the current directory that matches to the root of your directory structure so in this project if i'm saying dot to refer to a directory then it refers to this so over here i'd want to list up all the files which are present because i'm using eclipse then you would see that this directory has a lot of files not lot there are a couple of files which would be present so let's see what are there in this specific step let's get started right so the first thing is i'd want to find out whatever is present in the current directory before java 7 there was a very complex way of doing this but since java 7 and after functional programming was introduced in java 8 all these kind of stuff became very very easy so in this section we would be using functional programming concepts to scan through the files scan through the directories and things like that so if you did not get a chance to look through the functional programming section i would definitely recommend you to spend some time with it and get a an good understanding of the functional programming before trying to do this section that disclaimer aside let's get on to it right so i would want to find i would want to find the path to this specific directory right so paths help us to get on to a specific directory so i would say import paths you can see that it's in a package called java nio nio stands for new io i don't know how why they call it java new io because it was introduced in java 7 and now in 9 it's not so new anymore okay let's not worry about it what we want to do is from this path we would want to read all the list of files how do i do that in the files class there is a method called list and you can see that list accepts a path and this returns a stream back if you look at the files dot list it's a new method again it's introduced in java 8 Now, if you look at the documentation it says it returns a stream the elements are the entry the elements of which are the entries in a directory and the most important thing is listing is not recursive in the sense it just returns what is present in the current directory not in the directories underneath the current directory let's go ahead and use the path in here so files dot list this is returning a stream right on a stream i would want to print everything out how can i do that for each and define your consumer i'm going to use a method reference print ln now one of the important things is exception handling right there's a chance that this folder does not exist or things like that that's why you have to handle an exception called io exception control 1 and say add throws cool Let's run this. Now you can see all the things. Right? Dot class path is created by Eclipse. Dot project is created by Eclipse. Bin is where all the class files that are compiled are stored. We created the resources folder, and we also have the source folder, which is present. So 
these are all the folder source resources we don't see the bin and the dot project dot class path but if i open up the files you can see all the things in here right dot class path dot project bin resources and source let's end this step in here and in the next step let's do a few more operations and get into searches and things like that until then bye bye this video is part of a java course with more than 250 steps helping you become an expert on java you can find the complete course details in the description of the video along with it you can also find the details of a free pdf with 200 pages of awesome code examples in 28 minutes creating great programmers